In a rapidly changing world, ancient wisdom can still offer us a compass. Today, we explore how the teachings of Confucius, who lived over 2,500 years ago, can still illuminate our path in modern life. But how can the words of a master who lived so long ago still be so relevant today? The importance of continuous education. Submerged in a sea of data and news, we find ourselves asking a fundamental question. Are we truly learning something meaningful? In this context, the words of Confucius, a master who lived over 2,500 years ago, resonate strikingly in our lives. Learning without thought is labor lost. Thought without learning is perilous. This wisdom hits us, showing how easy it is to accumulate information without really assimilating it. In an era of instant answers provided by Google, we realize that true learning requires a moment to reflect. Confronted with this, we begin to reconsider our approach to learning. Another lesson from Confucius serves as a reminder. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. In the rapid pace of the modern world, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and tempted to give up. However, these words urge us to continue at our own pace, but without ever stopping. Each small step in our educational journey thus becomes a treasure. We embrace continuous education as a person personal voyage towards discovery and growth. We welcome curiosity and an open mind, recognizing that the values of learning is not in speed or efficiency, but in the constant pursuit of meaning and understanding. In this journey, we not only gain knowledge, but also find guidance for our lives, reflecting on the eternal wisdom of Confucius and its relevance in the modern world. Self-reflection and improvement in a world that often values immediate action and results, Confucius's teachings offer a different perspective, one that emphasizes the importance of self-reflection. He said, When you meet someone better than yourself, turn your thoughts to becoming his equal. When you meet someone not as good as you are, look within and examine your own self. This profound statement encourages us to continually evaluate and improve ourselves by learning from others and introspecting. Consider how, in our fast-paced lives, we might overlook the need to assess our actions and thoughts. How often do we pause to truly assess the impact of our actions? Confucius teaches that self-improvement starts with self-examination. He believed that true advancement comes from within and then radiates outward, positively influencing those around us. While the world celebrates external successes, Confucius reminds us that our true progress is measured by internal growth and self-improvement. In our professional and personal lives, adopting this philosophy means making choices that are reflective, not just just reactive. It involves asking ourselves how our current actions contribute to our long-term development and the kind of person we aspire to be. Additionally, Confucius stated, the expectations of life depend upon diligence. The mechanic that would perfect his work must first sharpen his tools. This highlights the importance of being prepared and continuously honing our skills and character. Being open to change and lifelong learning is essential. In summary, reflecting on ourselves and seeking personal growth is an enriching journey. It not only enhances our own lives, but also positively impacts those around us. It's a commitment to excellence guided by Confucius's timeless wisdom. The Art of Human Relationships have you ever considered what lies at the heart of a successful relationship? Confucius, with his profound understanding of human dynamics, offers us invaluable lessons on this topic. His simple yet powerful principle, do not do to others what you do not want done to yourself, forms the foundation of his relational philosophy. Applied today, this maxim encourages us to cultivate empathy and respect in our daily interaction. In an era where social media often distorts our perceptions of relationships, rediscovering authenticity authenticity and sincerity in human connections is crucial. Confucius advocated that healthy relationships are based on kindness and mutual consideration. How often do we actively listen, show compassion, and seek to understand others' perspectives before reacting? In the workplace, these teachings translate into effective communication and ethical leadership. Confucius's wisdom reminds us that to lead is first and foremost to serve others, guiding with example and integrity. In our personal lives, 
minds, applying these principles can profoundly transform our relationships. Practicing kindness, active listening, and patience not only improves our bonds with others, but also enriches our life experience. Imagine a world where every interaction is guided by this mutual respect and understanding. Ultimately, Confucius's lessons on human relationships invite us to build bridges of understanding and mutual respect. In doing so, we not only enhance our relationships, but also contribute to creating a more harmonious and connected society. Ethics in Work and Leadership in a world where headlines often reveal the ethical lapses in leadership, what can ancient wisdom teach us about true success? Confucius placed a strong emphasis on ethics and integrity, particularly in the realms of work and leadership. He stated, The superior man is modest in his speech, but exceeds in his action. This quote underscores the importance of leadership by example, and demonstrating ethical behavior rather than merely talking about it. Today's business environment, often focused on profit and competition, faces a Confucian challenge to redefine our notions of success. True success, according to this ancient wisdom, is not just about financial achievement, but also about the positive impact we have on others and on society as a whole. A leader, in the Confucian sense, is someone who acts with integrity and honesty. They earn respect and trust through their actions, not just their words. This kind of leader prioritizes the welfare of their team and the community, placing common good above personal gain. How often do we see such leadership in action. Confucius also said, by nature, men are nearly alike. By practice, they get to be wide apart. This speaks to the importance of continuous self-improvement and learning in leadership. It implies that while we may start similarly, it is our actions and continuous efforts that define our paths as leaders. Applying these Confucian principles can lead to a work culture where trust, mutual respect, and collaboration are the norm. In doing so, we not only enhance our workplace, but also elevate ethical standards in business, inspired by the enduring wisdom of Confucius. Balancing Personal and Professional Life in a 24-7 connected world, how do we find the elusive balance between work and personal life? Confucius, with his insights into the harmony of life, teaches us the importance of balance. He said, It is by the odes that the mind is aroused, by the rules of propriety that the character is established, and by music that the finish is given. This quote, while not directly about the work-life balance, emphasizes the importance of a well-rounded life. Nurturing the intellect, or the odes, developing personal character, or the rules of propriety, and embracing cultural enrichment. Music, today, where the boundary between work and personal life often blurs, leading to stress and imbalance, Confucius's idea of a well-rounded life is more relevant than ever. He encourages us to find balance, not by dividing our time equally, but by ensuring that all aspects of our life are harmoniously integrated. Applying this philosophy means dedicating time to our career, while also valuing moments with family and friends and nurturing personal interests. Balance. According to Confucius, is not about equal portions of time, but about the richness of our experiences in each area. In daily life, this requires awareness and effort to establish healthy boundaries and to make choices that align with our values and priorities. By finding harmony within ourselves and our surroundings, we lead a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Balance is not just a personal well-being matter. It enhances productivity, creativity, and happiness in both work and personal life. Following Confucius's teachings, we can skillfully navigate modern life's challenges, finding a balance that enriches every aspect of our existence. Contributing to the welfare of society in a world often driven by individual achievement, how do we remember the value of contributing to the greater good? Confucius emphasized the importance of individual contributions to collective well-being. He said, To wish to establish one's own virtue is to wish to establish the virtue of others. To wish to enlarge one's own knowledge is to wish to enlarge the knowledge of others. This concept highlights the connection between personal advancement and responsibility towards society. In an era marked by individualism and personal success, Success. Confucius's teachings remind us of the importance of our actions and their impact on society. We are encouraged to look beyond our personal interests and consider how we can contribute to the common good. This commitment extends beyond participating in charitable initiatives or social projects. It also includes ethical and responsible behavior in everyday life. Daily actions, like treating others with respect, acting with honesty, and showing kindness, have a significant impact on the community. In the workplace, this manifests through ethical business 
best practices, promoting an inclusive work environment, and positively contributing to the community. As citizens, we can make a difference by actively participating in society and supporting values of justice and equity. Confucius urges us to be conscious and proactive citizens, recognizing that our well-being is intrinsically linked to that of society. By living according to these principles, we not only improve ourselves as individuals, but also contribute to building a better world for everyone. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it and want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.